from ready to rumble. Opening up this coming weekend, the WCW movie and Biff Naked started off hot with a remake of the old Twisted Sister classic, We're Not Gonna Take It. Love that record. You know, I knew I heard that before. You listen to Twisted Sister? No, but I, mean, I just knew I heard the tune before. Well, yeah, it's one of those you hear an innocuous tune. You know, you hear it all the time. You can't get it out of your head. Frankie the Thumper Lancaster in the ring. And he awaits the arrival of the Raging Cajun from Louisiana, Lash LaRue. But did you ever figure out what he's doing out there with that eye chart? No idea. I don't think it's an eye chart. He's drawing some type of character. I don't know what he says, eye to eye across the top. And I don't know what he's doing. Looks pretty good, though. You ever been to Jackson Square in New Orleans? Legend right there in the corner, right next to the Cafe du Mans. Oh, those, I've been a few places. All those guys sit out there and draw characters for like five bucks. And draw your picture like a cartoon character. That's what he's doing. I had one guy draw a caricature of me one time. I didn't like it, so I punched him out. Why? Why did he it just didn't not look him? like me? Did it look like Bruno? Was that it? Uh oh. Don't punch me out. Well, Pete, you know, it would only take 15 pounds of pressure to break your knee. Who says? Science. Last will ruin Frankie the Thumper Lancaster. Perfect example of the battle between Eric Bischoff and Vince Russo. Lash LaRue, an up-and-comer, has already been in contention for the WCW Cruiserweight title on numerous occasions. Frankie Lancaster, a veteran. That's what's going on between Russo and Bischoff right now. Well, you got to look at the wrestler's side of this, too. I mean, guys like, uh, you know, the establishment Bischoff's talking about when he deals with these guys, they're stars, and they... They know what professional wrestling is about. They know how to deal. They know how to take care of themselves contractually and otherwise. Now, the guys that Russo wants to deal with are basically the naive neophytes. So, in other words, Bischoff has to be much smarter to deal with guys like Hogan and Flair and Piper exactly. and other guys where Russo can just throw a couple of dollars in the ring and these young guys will dive after it trying to make a name for themselves. That's a terrific point. What can Vince Russo offer someone like Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair? Nothing. Great point. So that's going to be the battle. The established stars in World Championship Wrestling, you know who they're going to side with. They're going to side with the man they see taking them to the top. That's Eric Bischoff. The young guys, they want the shot. They want the opportunity. They're going to be firmly in Camp Russo. Well, basically, that, that's the nail on the head. The young guys are going for opportunity, and they will, you know, take chances and risks. The established guys are pros, and they do it for the money. Point your browser to WCW.com. You will find out all of the latest uh -oh. information. Oh! Lash got Maroon there. You can classify that as whiplash. Times two, Lancaster, a veteran maneuver, the hot shot on the raging Cajun. Still to come, hardcore battle royal. The hardcore belt suspended, 15 feet above the ring. Brian Nobbs, hang on a second, lateral press of LaRue out at two. Nobbs has taken one too many chair shots. He's putting his title on the line in a battle royal here on Saturday night. Watch out. Uh I'm not a big fan of hardcore anyway. To me, it's a lack of science, but it is brutal. But I tell you, hardcore has hit a has hit a new plateau here, thanks to Mr. Brian Knobs. Because now it's a hardcore battle royal. So how, if your garbage can hits the floor, you're out. No, I don't think that's it. I think or if you're, you're in the garbage can when it hits the floor, you're out. I think you have to at least have one part of your body touch the floor, so you can't be fully emerged. Does your does it have to be still connected to your body? A good point. It may be a bridge we have to cross later. And I tell you something else. You know, when Eric Bischoff was running the show in World Championship Wrestling, we didn't see a lot of hardcore stuff. We didn't see a lot of battle royals, for that matter, except every year at the former World War III pay-per-view. With Vince Russo, we saw the hardcore division get pumped right to the top. There's another battle that's going on as Eric and Vince try to right this ship of World Championship Wrestling. Well, it's a battle of wills. It's a battle of philosophies. But again, even men loaded with knowledge and no wisdom wind up to be failures. LaRue missing with the elbow. Reverse chin lock now by Frankie the Thumper Lancaster here on Saturday night. 
We've still got three counts to come. Hugh Morris is here. The laughing man has been on a huge role in world championship wrestling. How will someone like Hugh Morris fare in the Bischoff Russo era? Well, I tell you what, you're going to see who's the cream of the crop in terms of IQs. Who's got the most brains? I mean, if, if you really are insecure, you're going to go with Russo because he's going to promise you stuff, and you're going to want to have that shot at fortune and glory and beautiful deaf mutes and big checks and all that. But if you're a professional in it for the money, you're going to be dealing, I believe, with Bischoff. It's the worst of two evils. But the thing is, you, you don't get to make that choice. They're both in power. They are both running the show. It's not like an election where you choose one over the other. Well, but see, with the establishment, oh, no. nice shot by LaRue. They have more options for choices. I mean, Hogan doesn't need the money. Flair don't need it. I don't need it. Piper don't need it. I can go on, but the young guys, they need it. They're hungry. They'll jump through a hoop if Russo lights it on fire. So they'll be where easier. Hogan will tell them to, you know, get the heck out of my way, kid. They'll be easier to work with. Lash they'll be easier to maneuver, you know, to take advantage of. Lash LaRue firmly in control here up top. Frankie the Thumper Lancaster. That is the whiplash. Lateral press hooks him. No. I thought Frankie had it, but he kicked out. Frankie, very strong guy. And trying to. Use some ingenuity here, no. and he caught LaRue coming in. Shoulder right in the gut. Lancaster, no, float out escape by Lash LaRue. Sets him up. Whoa! That is the Whiplash 2000, and that is a three count. The Raging Cajun, the youngster, the new generation. Take note, Vince Russo. Take note, Eric Bischoff. Lash LaRue is the victor here on WCW Saturday Night.